Say. What is the meaning of the hadith that shaitans are locked up in Ramadan? If they are all locked up, why are there so many people still affected by shaitans through black magic? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <laughs> there are shaitan shaitans. Okay? And then there are people who are shaitanic. They are not shaitans, but they are people who are shaitanic. They have the characteristics, you understand? Then there are other ones. They are not shaitans, they are other ones. But their characteristics are shaitanic too. So yes, the shaitans, they are locked up. But shaitans, they are preparing all the kuchuk shaitans, all the little ones and all the uh, jama'at, everything. They are preparing for Ramazan, months before. They are preparing for Ramazan. Meaning they say, Ramazan, I'm going to be locked up. When I'm locked up, make sure you continue the work. Make sure you go to this one, this one, this country, this nation, you're going to infect them. Make sure. You are not, you haven't come to the station of shaitan yet, they're saying. But I can train you. And they get themselves, their people ready, so they can go get locked up and their people can continue their work. Believers are not preparing for Ramazan. Shaitans, they're prepared. So, <coughs> there are people, yes, they are still affected by that. So many times they are affected by it because of something that they have done in the past, because of something that they opened themselves up to. There are so many other reasons for that. And if you are not preparing yourself for the month of Ramazan to get rid of all these things and to believe more and to run after the people who have more uh, connection to the heavenly stations, then the month of Ramazan, yes, more things can affect you. Because shaitans are locked up, but they've trained their minions to take care of the job. And they're still running. Ayat is saying, protect us from the jinns, from the shaitans, who comes from the jinns and the ins. So, we're asking protection from that always. But, People, so many nowadays, they have more faith and they have more fear from black magic than they have more faith and fear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With Allah, they say Allah is merciful, Allah is love. So I can do whatever I want, whatever my ego wants, Allah is going to forgive me. This kind of love, yeah. But evil black magic is, oh. I believe, I fear, they got to do so many things, spend so much money following so many crooked ones, thinking that they're going to solve the problem, but they're not solving the problem. Like you bringing your car to a very bad mechanic, he just needs an oil change, and the mechanic says, your transmission is no good. So he fixed your transmission, but he makes sure that it's not... He's not really fixing, he's making something that is wrong there. So you, you're happy, he changed your oil, you didn't know, you drive and suddenly something is wrong because he fixed the transmission in the wrong way and you come back and you say there's something, I say, didn't I tell you? So he's always going to give you now more problems and more problems and more problems. There are people who go to people thinking that they can solve, but they're not solving, they're making more problems. Run away from all of these things. Run away from shaitan. Don't say, I'm going to run away from him in entering into the month of Ramazan. Run away from him uh, outside of the month of Ramazan. Prepare and be aware. Everything that you're doing now, it is years of preparation that brings you to this situation now. Don't just jump into the situation. You are not going to be prepared for it. Inshallah, Rahman. May Allah make it easy for us. We are running away from all of that fitna, from all of that confusion. Al Fatiha. Amen.